Carissa Roberts is the owner of KR Architectural Services, or CRAS. The company's clientele include the public and private sectors, as well as the ordinary citizen. Their aim is to continuously work towards their clientele's stamp of approval by ensuring their satisfaction. Welcome, Carissa. Hi, Mimi. Really. <laughs> good to have you here on Good Morning, SKN. So I know that you... One of the project, projects, because you've done a lot of work, but one of the projects that made you really, really popular was that um, stand that you did down at Black Rocks. Can you tell us a little bit about that project? Well, that project came from the Whitegate Corporation. Mm -hmm. It's a company that is responsible for development in the rural area. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was contacted by the manager to create or develop a concept for a deck that they were thinking about building. Because I don't know if you recall how it was before. Yes. There were just some... A there. cliff <laughs> and some, some rocks. rocks. Yes. So you go there and you look off at your own risk. <laughs> right. But the intention was to improve it because, of course, we are heavily involved in tourism. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make it more safe and a bit more daring for tourists and locals alike. But I think the locals enjoy it more. Most, yes. <laughs> I remember, see, I, well, even now, everybody takes their birthday pictures if you every weekend. If you have a birthday picture at Black Rock, you're two years behind. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, I, I had no idea that you were to be credited for that, but I admire seeing it on my television when you do the over shoot, you know, with the drone and everything, and it looks so incredible. What was it like, one, to be contacted for that, and two, when you realized that the project went viral? <laughs> Uh, to be contacted for that project, I was a bit skeptical because I'm like, what is this? <laughs> this is so risky to create a design. But the, the company, of course, they believed in me. So that is all I needed to come up with the, the concept they gave me, the brief. So they were very helpful because, you know, some persons, they might want something, but they have no idea what they want. But they were very forthcoming with the information mm -hmm. and... Of course, it was a, a large team of persons. There were so many, there are so many parts that we might overlook to getting that project done, but there was the design, and you know, you have to have the engineering and the construction because Black Rocks, as beautiful as it is, it's a very technical area to develop because you have sea blasts, you have the wind, you have the cliff. Lots of wind. So there are <laughs> so many things to consider. So I was most grateful to be part of the the entire team mm -hmm. who was responsible for that project. Mm -hmm. now, are there any other notable projects that you'd like to mention other than the Black Rocks project, which you've become so well known for? Okay, so I did the signs to the housing development at Brotherson Estate. That's just in the Newton Ground area. And it is, I like to consider it a gateway to a very, very beautiful area. I don't know if you have been to Ramada, the view that you see from Ramada, looking off to Central Stations, you can also see that at Brotherson Estate. I think Brotherson Estate is a bit better because it's low. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very nice. I also did work for the Ministry of Environment, where they contacted me to construct a restroom facility, of course, with handicap accessibility. Wonderful. For tourists and locals who use the Wingfield Estate area. Most persons would know that's where Sky Safari is. Also did the remodeling of the public market, Bassi Public Market meat section roof mm -hmm. for that area. So I've done work on all aspects and of course my favorite, which is just houses. <laughs> <laughs> you can say just houses are not a big deal. Um, so, Carissa, let's look at your training. Both your undergraduate and master's degrees are in management. That's, that's really interesting. And the latter is concentrated on project management. How has this led to your involvement in architecture? Well, my philosophy is that you have to have the technical capabilities along with the soft skills and the interpersonal skills. Because what I find is that you have to be well-rounded, especially mm -hmm. in business. You can't just know about your area. Otherwise, unfortunately, you'll get left behind. All right. So I decided that I would not just focus on architecture 
I would focus on other fields because these, of course, will help me to manage my business better and, of course, expand the business. Because as time goes on, there, there are different aspects of the field. I like to call it the built environment because the, the whole big field. So let's say like project management, that is something that I have been interested in for a very long time. And it's something that I noticed that you have to do it every day. If you treat every situation like a project, you will always start and finish. So I wanted to be not just someone who is in the architecture field, but I wanted to be someone who is well-rounded. So if ever there's an opportunity outside of architecture, I can't say that as a young person, I cannot take that opportunity because I don't know anything about it. It is very detrimental to yourself to not know something about something else. So I just wanted to be a well-rounded individual and to ensure that I am more marketable than just being an architect. Yes, <laughs> not an eternal vision. Mm. The three of us will um, attempt to identify a location, the name of the popular world, land, and name, sorry, the popular world landmark. So join us as we loosen up. So here, here's how it works. One point to the guest that locates the place and another point goes to the person who could name the landmark so i hope these are not difficult oh, the leaning tower of pisa in <laughs> in europe in italy europe is in italy it's in europe oh, sorry the okay <laughs> fine fair enough all right so oh i'll get the second one all right so I snuck in a point there, right? Okay, that's fine. All right, the Sydney Opera House in Sydney, Australia. Marissa, you're up. <laughs> no pressure. That's the Big Ben in London. <laughs> this is not as easy as I thought. I don't know where that is. I don't know the yeah. name of that. It's yeah, in I the know. open, part one. <laughs> oh, I know. No. I don't remember the name. I've seen it before, but I don't remember the name. It, it's my turn, and I'm going to pass to the expert here. This is in Grenada. I don't remember the, the name of the sculpture, but it's under, underwater in Grenada. <laughs> ah, the underwater sculpture. I didn't guess that. <laughs> I mean, she did say underwater sculpture. Water, you close. <laughs> I don't. I've seen it before. This is in London, I think. In the UK somewhere. I don't know what the name is. I'm going to hazard a guess and say it's in France. But I do not remember the name of the... This is the Pyramid in Paris, France. Get the name. The Louvre. Oh, oh. Ah. Louvre. oh my God. Yeah. It looks like a print. It does. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> This is the Martin Luther, Luther King. <laughs> this is the Martin Luther King um, statue park. Um, I don't know where it is. Can I guess Washington? It's not in Washington. Can I guess Washington? That's fine. Okay, that's my guess. Yeah. And I was way behind. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is so very interesting. I feel like I should know where this is. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be very general here. Is this in Mexico? No, I did. Okay, it's not in Mexico. I don't know what it is. We're passing it's to Carissa. I, uh, it almost looks like the Christ the Redeemer area, but it's not that. I'm not sure. You're thinking okay. Brazil, right? Brazil? The mountain area looks like oh. it. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Much. Let's just pretend you're like, yeah, we knew that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I this know, looks right? like the Great Wall of China in China. <laughs> what if I give you that idea? A wild guess. <laughs> A wild guess. I've seen this one before. I don't know the name though. This I don't, is don't know what it is. I'm just going to pretend <laughs> that I know the location because I have no idea. It's South Africa. Mm -mm. Let's go. The name? I don't know the name. <laughs> this is in New York. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen this one. 
Oh, okay. oh wow. How did you miss that one? Oh, wow. Do you hear the sound effects in the studio, by the way? My Caribbean car just got revoked. Wow. Your UE car got revoked. Both of you. Yes. Never. <laughs> this looks like a Mayan temple in Mexico. You're asking for the name. Oh. Oh. Yeah. How do we even How do you that? Okay. <laughs> it is a man temple though. Okay. Yes. Come on. We've all been there. Come on. <laughs> it's house from the hall and it's yes. <laughs> bucket list. We were talking about bucket list the other day. That's on my bucket list. Okay. I feel like you know what this is. <laughs> Lord, I don't know. Don't put it up yet. I think I know what it is. I am supposed to know this. It's not Stonehenge. Oh, I don't. I think it's Stonehenge. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But that's why I said Stone on the Easter Island. The location. Who's that? We don't know. I'm learning. I'm not a steel memes guest. I really don't know where it is. England. Stonehenge, England, yes. Right. Oh, I'm going to be like the people at Carnival at, at Queen shows the teeth. <laughs> All right. So apparently, yeah, we have to double everything because we gave right the location, one point for the location, one point for the name. So I'm here we go with those points. I have six points. <laughs> Thank you. And Jamie has six points and Carissa has four points. The cheat. <laughs> well, you see, I said nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Jamie is accustomed to being second place. They say a thousand Frenchmen can't be wrong. I said nothing at all. That's <laughs>